The 2013 sugarcane harvest has so far been outstanding for the state's 475 sugar growers. Just 30 days into harvest, the weather has been cooperating and yields so far have been excellent. The Cora, Texas sugar mill in Iberville Parish has seen higher sugar content in the harvested cane as well as more tonnage in trucks hauling to the White Castle facility. All this could mean Louisiana sugarcane farmers are looking at one of their best years ever. But as this week in Louisiana Agriculture's A.J. Sabine now shows us, lower than expected sugar prices for domestic sugar could reduce the payoff farmers receive on this potentially record crop. A semi-trailer full of billeted sugar cane spills onto a conveyor at the Cora, Texas Sugar Factory in White Castle. This year, the sugar cane harvest is off to a great start. Factory General Manager Buckley Kessler says yields so far can only be described as incredible. Making about 25 more pounds of sugar per ton uh, as of this day than we did last year. And uh, tonnage is a whole lot better than we had anticipated. This crop really uh, came around in, in September. Great weather has contributed to the success of this year's crop and subsequent harvest. Specifically, timely rain fell on sugarcane in September. However, only two inches of rain have fallen on this factory since the beginning of harvest. Under drier conditions, most of the sugarcane delivered to the mill is mud free. Without the mud, this factory can operate more efficiently. Even though the Cora Texas sugar mill has only been up and operating for about 30 days, Kessler says the only sticking point is with price. He says Mexican sugar has flooded the market and that has had an adverse effect on farmers' bottom line. Mexico's killing us. They're dumping sugar in this country at will. And, uh, you know, we need to address this NAFTA situation. It's really, really hurting the price. Price notwithstanding, this sugar cane has yielded more than 7,600 pounds of recoverable sugar for every acre delivered to the mill. Kessler says that that amount continues to rise with each day of milling. He anticipates that by the end of harvest, he could mill nearly 40 tons of sugar to the acre. We'll probably finish up 39 tons, I guess, something like that, maybe a little better. Last year we were right at 41. We, you know, hopefully we're going to be close to 40, but the sugar's going to be a lot better. I think we, we're probably going to be in the 240s uh, by the time, overall average by the time we're done. Nearly 60 days remain in the 2013 harvest. With hurricane season drawing to a close on November 30th, Louisiana farmers could see good weather and an even better harvest as long as Mother Nature cooperates. In Iberville Parish, I'm A.J. Sabine for this week in Louisiana Agriculture. Sugar farmers in Louisiana planted 440,000 acres of sugarcane in the state this year. Sugarcane is our number one crop economically with a direct and value added worth of nearly $2 billion.